What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers 4 here again today. Jeepers Creepers were born. So a new video came out over on the official YouTube channel for the film and on the official Twitter. And many of you probably got an email if you signed up for the newsletter on 23rdday.com. Uh, it was a new video where Timo was basically talking about the approach and how they came up with the style and the tone for the film. But the most important thing that I saw was storyboard arts that basically all but confirm. Well, I guess it's more of a confirmation that the creeper will be a reawakening in Taggart's barn and we'll get to see some of that play out on screen in the film. If you read the kind of the messages over on the right of the storyboard arts, it's not complete. It's cut off, but you get the indication of what it is. It says the rear of and to look for which you probably the infamous barn in which I'm assuming that R is Ray Wise. I, I hope uh, that doesn't mean he's in the film, but it says creeper at the end of Jeepers Creepers 2. And I'm assuming the messaging after that would be people would travel for miles to see that thing. And then the last one here shows something crawling out of the of, of the barn. And then here again, there's more of this. We so we slowly see a struggling creature crawling out on all fours. We don't see the creature and he's in heavy shadows and behind rubble. But we can see that it is in pain, slowly, slowly withering in pain. Now, going off of that, does this mean that before the thing comes out of the barn, there's a scuffle that happens in the barn itself? Or is it just hurting because it just reawakened? Now, this could mean that it is, in fact, just kind of hurting from a scuffle from Taggart or is just in pain from reawakening and it wants to go feed there were some other things that came out but these this is pretty much very very exciting because this again is stuff that kind of adds into the idea that we will get to see what many of us have been waiting for since 2003 not to say that it might be everything you thought it would be but you're at least going to have a movie that exists where you can no longer just wonder after you're done watching Jupiter's creepers 2 you'll get to see what happens after the creeper escapes the barn and how it escapes the barn it looks like it's just going to crawl out on all fours at the opening of jeepers creepers 4 or at some point in jeepers creepers 4 now i do want to talk about Stu again really quick i know the character's name is Stu, but again let's just think about the jack jr theory really quick what if Stu again is just a cover name and the the person actually in this film with these new group of kids is jack jr what if something just happens to taggart senior and jack jr goes along after hunting the creeper because of what it did to its father and escaping the barn and it goes from there that doesn't mean that the stuff we know about Stu isn't still true because we know that Stu apparently goes around hunting those throwing stars for the creeper how do we know that jack jr didn't just start doing that and then go around you know doing what his father was doing you know his dad had the creeper up on display in the barn for you to pay money to come see it there jack jr could have been going around collecting the throwing stars you know they just could have been doing all that they could to profit off of this thing that killed their brother slash son and you know they've been waiting 23 years for it to to see if the legend and that the stories minxie told them were true and now they're gonna find out that it is true jack senior won't make it out of that barn alive he'll be the one dying but jack jr who again let's just pretend this is actually who Stu is and his name isn't really Stu; it's just a cover-up he will go after the creeper and join together with these new group of kids there were some other images that came out from the video with timo where he's again talking about the tone and referencing friday the 13th and his generation and their 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 interest in freddy krueger jason how all that was scary he wanted to kind of capture some of that with the new one the images are very dark a lot more i would say menacing as it looks like they're going for a lot more grittier approach to it this time around so it already has a better look from what i can tell compared to the third one it looks more in line with the first two obviously a lower budget but it just the look of it is still much better than the third one so again just to talk about Stu really quick if Stu is indeed jack jr that's going to be something that i know will get a lot of you excited i'll be excited about it too but then that'll also be another development in what they've been doing with this legend of the creeper because again in that storyboard art it does make mention of the fact that people would travel for miles to come see this thing in the tagger barn so again maybe we'll get to learn how much this legend has grown maybe there is some truth to the idea that chase traveled out here not only for the horror hound festival but he wanted to come see the creeper and the horror hound festival was kind of just like you know another little accessory to coming out here and seeing the legend of the creeper at old man taggart's barn so the other image that came out not came out but 
interesting images from that video was this where we get to see a shot of the creeper from behind where he's going into his truck going over some of his weapons it's basically like an extended shot scene sequence if you want to of what we already saw in that 15 second clip or teaser that we got last october now with the stuff that they've been releasing this month and they did announce that a competition was coming because i did talk about that in another video this week a competition would be getting announced in two weeks with a, that was in relation to props being given out or something else uh, that makes me more confident that we should kind of hold out for some hope that it's coming out next month in april they also had this shot that was shown in the video of the truck again the, the use of the fog and the, just the way it looks is just a lot more interesting to me and has me engaged and curious to see it more so already than the third one that doesn't mean that it'll be a good movie but the look of it already i can just tell you have your advantage there over the third one with the look maybe not with the creeper design but again a creeper design that i can probably grow i can just grow accustomed to uh mixed with a, a movie that's a lot well better put together well made it does a lot more to fall in line with what the first two had to offer maybe even more so along the lines of the first movie then you will have a good movie on your hands despite whether or not the makeup for the creeper is still something that i'd say is a hit or miss for me it'll still be a good jeepers creepers movie you just have to give me some characters that are fun to root for they don't have to be the most overly developed characters because i don't think that's going to be the thing that happens here but it is nice to have a horror movie that gives you characters that aren't just one note characters you get to learn stuff about them grow attached to them root for their survival uh and just hopefully diving into a group of people who we can grow invested in the terror that they have collectively we can get immersed in the atmosphere that the movie tries to establish itself in or tries to establish for itself and then just have fun with a jeepers creepers movie that is at this point a, a, a good b movie hopefully it's just a good b movie and in line with the second one i just hope that i can sit down watch one two turn on four forget three happened and then look forward to the future with five and six if they decide to do those two but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you excited about the taggart barn stuff if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post vacation image video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you're likely to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video